when we think of the history and the origins of Christianity, we often have this widely accepted, very traditional view that it started with Jesus in Palestine, and from Palestine it moved to Rome, and from Rome it spread to the entirety of the world. But what if there's another story here? What if there's another pathway that this great faith took as it grew in the world? What if there's a whole other church that has been lost in time and in fact even intentionally suppressed? The story I'm talking about is the forgotten story of the Celtic Church. So here at the Celtic Church, we're going to be taking a dive through history, looking at the mysterious foundations of Christianity here in the UK, and how, through a surprising merger of the Druids and the early apostles, the ones that were brought here by Joseph of Arimathea immediately after the crucifixion, allowed a space in which Christianity could take root here in this soil in the UK long before it was ever in Rome. And to understand how this great merging took place and how this great forming of the church occurred, we'll be going on a historical journey looking at all of the important places, people, scriptures, and writing of this early church. We're going to be looking at both traditional and non-traditional viewpoints of many of the biblical characters, like Jesus, and especially focusing on Jesus' lost years, even the legends and the stories that placed Jesus in his early years right here in the UK. We're going to be looking at stories of Mary Magdalene, of Mother Mary, of Joseph of Arimathea, many of the apostles and early saints, even many kings, queens, generals, and many other important characters that played such a pivotal role in the founding of the Celtic Church. We're going to be looking at the Druids. Who were the Druids? What were their great wisdom and faith traditions about? What made their sacred sites so important? And we'll even be really peering into exactly why so many of the early Druid teachings were woven into the first Christian teachings, and even seeing why so many of the Druid sites here in the UK eventually became Christian centers of learning. We're also going to be looking at a lot of Aramaic and early early Greek texts, because in order to truly understand these early first teachings of these great beings, we have to understand what their words really meant. So I'll be taking us through a lot of Aramaic and ancient Greek translations of these scriptures, helping you be introduced into the core essence of what their words were and what they were trying to convey with their teachings. And one of my most exciting aspects of the Celtic Church is we'll bring you on tours, bring you to many of these ancient Druid and Christian sites so that you can feel and tune into and connect with why these places were so important and the role they played with this beautiful blooming church.
So are you ready to meet with and connect with the Celtic Church? Then come with me as we remember and resurrect the Christianity that we lost.